The Abuja Original Inhabitants Youth Empowerment Organization has withdrawn a 48-hour ultimatum it gave NSAR's protesters in Abuja to vacate the streets of the Federal Capital Territory or face severe consequences. The group had called under Inspector General of Police to forcefully stop the protesters who have been responsible for barricading major roads within the city centre following their demand for an end to police brutality. However, in a surprising twist, the leadership of the youth group addressed newsmen in Abuja and apologized for her earlier position. I allowed myself to be used and deceived by thinking it was a very good thing I was about doing to stop a one-man show calling the attention of the IGP to swing into action and stop the remove the protesters on the street. I am 100% in support of NSAS and police brutality. I want to use this opportunity to call the attention of the federal government to put all the necessary machineries on ground to protect the peaceful protesters on the street. The break down the laws in the FCT and ensure the properties of all Nigerians are protected. The protesters are yearning for the voice of the Nigerians, not political parties. So for these reasons, I want to apologize to all Nigerians for the misconduct of Vinisa Yusuf Amadu and any statement that I've said that is against the NSACs. I hereby apologize. You're watching news on the hour. We'll go on a short break, and when we come back, we have more stories. Just stay with us.